Hello everyone, happy Saturday, take two. <laughs> um, just wanted to come to you on a Saturday live. This is not my normal schedule, as you all well know. And um, just wanted to show you um, a new card class. It's a free card class for you. And it features some really great products that I have featured one other time on another live and everybody loved it. And so um, wanted to show you another class and offer it to you with the deadline of October 31. So this product is fantastic. However, you don't have to get this product. The card class, like I said, is free. I bring my card classes to you online so that you can do those at your leisure. Um, you can do them along with me on the replay if you would like to go ahead and purchase um, the products or, or different products even. Um, up to $50, you go ahead and get this, this card class for free. And what's so awesome about this card class is it features all gift card holders. So it is great for birthdays, great for holidays. And with these cards, they're awesome because you can use them for Christmas or for birthdays or all occasion really. So, and I'll be featuring um, the stamp set here. It's called Throughout the Year. And this is available in our current mini. It's a really great one, again, to use kind of for all occasions. So I don't want to forget those awesome cards. Even though we're really kicking off the holiday season here very, very shortly, and most of us have been doing it for um, since October rolled around, but um, this is a really good one to have in your arsenal um, just for all, all throughout the year, hence the name. So um, let me go ahead and point you down, and I'm going to show you some of the products that I will be using. And again, you can choose these products or you can choose other products as well, but there's a link in the post and you are welcome to use that. That will enable me to send you the cards for free and that would be 12 cards you're gonna get for free, all the elements to make those cards. So here we go, let me point you down. Okay, so here we have on page 37 of our current mini, this is the Magical Metal Bundle and it features the Snowflake Magic Foil the Winter Meadow Designer Series paper, these awesome gems, and then the actual bundle here. We're going to be focusing on the foil, the Designer Series paper, and I have the gems as well to use. So um, let me go ahead and show you this other product. These are the classic gift card envelopes. They're fantastic. We're going to use these in the cards. And um, let me bring this over here get that out of the way. This is the actual paper. It's fantastic. I will go ahead and open up this new pack to show you. Let me see if I can cut that a little bit better. Show you the paper. Again, a lot of people got that kit in, I think it was in October, the end of September, and um, just thought I would go ahead and bring this to you again just to show you. So, there's a lot of water coloring on the backs of these, and they're just really, really pretty colors. Great for winter, all occasion, Christmas, but you're gonna get a whole pack of these if you would like. Um, this is two sides to this. It's really pretty, I love this. So that's that. There's a whole pack of that, and then this is the foil. Let's turn it back over. Hi, Nancy. How are you? <laughs> you saw me do my take two. <laughs> All right, this foil is awesome. It features um, this is the um, Lost Lagoon. As you can see, it's it's gorgeous. I'm gonna take it all out of the pack. So this pack is available. It's $10 for the whole pack. You get two sheets of the Lost Lagoon, two of the white and silver, and two of the pretty peacock in the um, snowflake. So it's beautiful. Love that. So I'll be using those products along with these beautiful gems. And these are called the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. 
um, they match very well, as well as the closet gift card holder um, pockets there. So let me go ahead and put this out of the way and I will get started on my cards. Again, these cards will all be coming to you with a $50 or more order before tax and shipping. Um, and this is the first one. So let me get this out of the way. I went ahead and cut some other pieces as well just to make it easier to get through um, on, our, on our live so you don't wait for me. So this one is a birthday card, obviously, and super simple, features that beautiful winter meadow paper. You open it up here and you have the little pocket that has been decorated for your gift card to go in. Um, and just beautiful, right? So it features the um, Moody Mauve. So what we'll do, let me, um, I actually have my cheat sheet here. Let me minimize my computer, get it all ready. And I'm going to be watching, I do too, Nancy. I love that suite. It's really pretty. I'm going to be um, reading off my own tutorial here. So we're going to take a piece of our Moody Mauve, get that out of the way. And we're going to be cutting live all of the designer series paper that I have here. We're going to um, actually be doing that together. So um, the Moody Mauve, we are going to, that's four and a quarter by 11. And we're going to do it in a Z fold, which means we're actually going to score it in half. And then score it in half again. Okay. Get that out of the way. So there's that. And then we need um, two pieces of designer series paper. So again, you're going to choose which paper that you would like. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and adhere those down to the front of our card. So let me get this piece. I think that's really pretty. And remember, with all of our designer series paper, you can choose one page, one sheet, and use both sides of it. This is a great card to go ahead and do that with. So, um, all right, so let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to cut it down. Let's do the first one. And there's no direction on this, which makes it really nice. I'll do it on this side too. Okay, and you'll get this whole tutorial, this whole PDF. Um, and then I need to cut for the inside, and that will be here. Let's see here. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so we got that. So this is all for the first card. All right, get that out of the way. So let's bring our Moody Mauve back in and I'll get my bone folder and I'll just score this or not score it. I will burnish my score marks here, right? So, and actually I want this to go back. So you can do one of two things with this Z fold. We can, we're going to go ahead and um, adhere it back. We're going to glue it to itself so that it stays open and we can see the inside of the actual um the glue on both sides you can see the inside okay with the glue you just want to give it a minute here i personally have not been using moody mob as much i love it and it really is is it, it accents well with this paper so i just thought what a great idea to bring you guys this morning so what we're going to do, look how pretty that, that um, coordinates with that Moody Mauve. Isn't that gorgeous? Just love that so much. Um, if you are so lucky to get this paper, again, it's good for um, winter. It's good for the holidays, just generally speaking, for just all occasion cards. It's gone out of stock. That's why I say if you're lucky enough to get it, it's gone out of stock several times. Um, and so it has been hard to keep in stock. But it is available right now, as is the foil that actually coordinates with it. So don't miss this. This is a really great, this is a really great suite. 
Okay. All right. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these. These are awesome. There's 20 in a pack. Um, fantastic to keep on hand for your holiday gift giving. Um, you can decorate these. You can stamp on them. As you can see, what I'm doing is actually decorating the, um, the flap. And I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive there and line this up on the score mark. It's already scored for you, which makes it so super easy. Give it a minute. And then I'm going to just trim around these really pretty scalloped edge. These are good for all year round. And keep these on hand would be a good idea, I think. I know I'm going to. I've got several packs here as well. I'll just cut around that. How's your guys' Saturday? Yes. Moody Mauve is one of those colors that looks awesome with DSP, but alone it's not overly attractive. I would agree. It's actually pretty surprising when you see it on a card and everything coordinates together. It is beautiful. Absolutely. This is one of our new um, ink colors for this year and next year. And it is a great color. Okay. So there we have that. Now this, I went ahead and cut this. I know that's beautiful. You can't imagine turning it over, but we're going to, and it is actually going to serve as a um, base to our piece that we will be writing our message on. Okay, so just line that up there. And then we're going to take these pieces. So this is cut from our uh, Radiating Stitches dies. It's in my online store and I love this set. This has been a, a great um, kind of just, just all around um, die set that I use on a lot. It has a little heart in it, has a couple circles, it has this one, and it has one that cuts out in the middle um, and several um, rectangles too. So I really love that. All right, so let's bring out our throughout the year. Again, this is a very great all occasion. We're going to make this a birthday. Where's the stamp? Let's see here. Here it is. Happiest of birthdays. Mount it onto a block. All right, and I'm going to coordinate. Let me get my ink here. Coordinate with our Moody Mauve. This is a really pretty. Let me use this one on the outside. All right. And you um, can use whatever colors are in your um, in your paper that you choose for your for your kit. So it's flexible, whatever it is that you would like. I'm also featuring this awesome bundle sending cheer it is so fun i am hosting a um, stamp camp in november on the 19th it's sunday the 19th 1 30 to 5 here in indian trail and to go it's in a box um, if you um, don't live close by but we're featuring this bundle we're going to be making christmas cards bags tags and doing gift giving and there's just a lot of really cute things that are coming forth for that class. So this will be a feature um, for that class to let you know that the registration is already out there. It's available and open. I've already had several people sign up. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, speaking of, let me show you this. Quite amazing. Um, this is an add-on class that I have. Um, this is a 3D home decor item. Hopefully you can see that. I know it's kind of close. Um, and I don't, let me try to turn off my light because it's all lit inside. You can probably see it down in there. Can you see that? Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. It just glows with the light. So this is an add-on class 
and um, I have another add-on class for that um, that event as well. So don't miss this. You're going to get all the product to make that as well. So that is a lot of fun and will certainly make beautiful gifts as well. Um, let me turn off those lights there. Um, so that is another really great gift idea. So just wanted to mention that. Um, okay, so back to our card here. We're going to take our Lost Lagoon, which coordinates very well with our paper that I'm using. And this says Sending Cheer. So again, this is birthday. This is a birthday card. And just love that. I'm going to take some linen thread. You can use whatever, whatever um, ribbon or twine that you might have, or that can be part of your $50 that you purchase with your kit to go ahead and get this for free. So we're just gonna double it over. I love the linen thread. Um, I use a ton of it, and it's really easy to add to cards. It just creates a really great um, kind of dimension to your cards and it's not a lot of bulk so I like that all right we're going to apply that with some glue dots and put it right down here and then I'm going to cut that I should have cut it first but it's okay so trim that trim this there we go isn't that cute and then I'm going to take some where are my dimensionals? I have a whole pack right here. And I'm gonna do the sending cheer up on a dimensional. We're gonna do it this way. Okay, so back to our card. I'll just leave that tucked over there like that. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna line it up so that it's in the center and I'm actually going to, eh, I'll, I'll glue it down. I'll glue this down. I need some more adhesive, maybe. I have more over here. I have several. I feel like I have several going at one time. I love this liquid adhesive, though, because it gives me that time to move it and get it exactly where I want it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and line this one up, and I'll show you how I do that. Just put a little bit of adhesive here in this one. These elements will come with your card kit, so that is a benefit. We're going to just to lay that down. That's pretty good placement. Now I'm just going to get it straight, like I said. Just lining it up first, and then I have time to shift it around. That way, when it's closed, you don't see it. You like that one? So this is our first card. I am going to go ahead and put some beautiful embellishments by the way this is a tip you guys know this right go ahead and, and cut this on the side instead of trying to weave that back in and out um, it just makes it a lot easier Hope that is stuck this one I usually do odd numbers love that these are beautiful. I don't know if you guys have seen these or used them yet. They are just so pretty. Great for winter as well. I'll leave that out. Okay, so this is our first card. So I hope you like that one. All right, and the second card. Let's pull this out. I'm going to be using our Smoky Slate our misty moonlight and it is going to look like this so we're going to put the deer front and center this could actually be a masculine card guys need gift cards too right they need birthday cards so just a really simple card you can tuck that in there and then open it up and you can write your message in here so really easy I made this one as a thank you, but it could very easily be a birthday card. So we'll go ahead and get started on that one. Um, so I've got some of the elements cut again. Like I said, I will pull this up 
and get my cutter. And I'm going to choose the designer series paper. I think I'm going to choose the same one that I did. Let me get my stash out here. And I'm going to pull this paper out. You guys can see how much I've been using this paper. It is awesome. I love it. And this page. Okay, so got those out. I'm going to go ahead and cut this so that it is, let's see, I've got this already. All right, let me cut it down to four inches. And then down to five and a quarter. Okay, so we got that one. And then this needs to be a little bit smaller. And that will be... Right. Let's go this way. Try and get this so that I can see the deer. Kind of cut a little bit off each side. I always try to center it so that I have exactly what I want. All right. There's that. And then do it like this. Make sure I'm cutting it right. I think that is right. Okay, so that is what we need for this card. And again, going to, this has already been scored, so I'm going to burnish. That's a good idea. That's a good idea, Nancy, for your storing of your embellishments. That's a great idea. I have mine. It's, it's kind of a hot mess on fire, but this is mine. <laughs> I have everything kind of stacked up. These are all the ones that I'm using. There's just so many. I'm always crafting every day, but um, that is a really good idea. That way you can see what you've got and kind of just flip through it and go through everything. So I love that. Um, okay, so we've got this front piece. This is a beautiful. I could go ahead and use this back piece, you know, but the um, opposite side, but I wanted a little more coordination with the uh, Misty Moonlight. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Just remember, there's always those two beautiful sides. Don't forget the other side. Sometimes it's good to have more subtle. All right. Oops, don't do it upside down. Done that too many times. Okay, so lay that down and then I've scored this. Again, you will have all the measurements um, in your kit. The PDF will be sent to you. And then, um, let's see here, I have a, we don't sell this punch anymore, but you can use any circular punch or any kind of, any one of our labels. Oops, it flipped right out at me. And it'll work just fine. It's, it's good. So it's just whatever you have on hand. You don't need anything special. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm creating my gift card holder. And I'm using the liquid glue, of course. So you want to just kind of give it a minute, hold it down. And if you wanted, you could even put that down there like this. I'll do that. Use our scrap off of our, what we cut off, right? I can even do it on this side to coordinate. So just lay that down. Just making it as we go, right? That's the best. And then you're going to snip it off if you want to use that little piece of scrap. There you go. Cool. So that, that'll be our pocket. Can you see how that created that? And then I'm going to use dimensionals and I'm going to pop this guy up. And that should do it. I'm going to layer him right in the center. Love that. Okay. Now, that's what we have. 
So let me get this burnished a little bit better. Okay, much better. All right, um, now what we're going to do is pull back our throughout the year. And I made this a thank you card to you know keep with the very same stamp set that we're using. You can use whatever you have or you can do what I'm doing. Um, and also, just to show you, I'm gonna mask off this here with a um, with a piece of post-it note. Take that. We have masking paper. I have it right there, but I didn't grab it, so I'm just gonna go rogue and just do this on the fly. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing the misty moonlight to go ahead and coordinate. All right. So what I'm doing, I'm masking. You might say, well, why are you doing that? Well, because this is a small little circle and I want to stack my words instead of how the stamp is designed. So I'm just going to ink up the thank. Kind of got that off center, but that's okay. You always want to clean in between. And now I'm going to mask over the thank and just ink up the U. All right. And I'll come back on this side for the U. Kind of balance it off a little bit. There we go. All right, so that's masking. It's very easy. It's a way that you can go ahead and change up your stamps and get more use out of them. It's not always how they were intended, but it certainly um, brings about that flexibility for you to create your own uh, designs and, and make it work for your card. I'm going to put this here, and then I'm going to glue this down. There we go. Hi, Renee. How are you? Good morning, or I guess good afternoon now, right? All right. I think you're in Nebraska. So it's still morning for you, maybe. Yeah, just... Anyway, this we're making gift card holder cards. So this is the next one. So you flip it up. Here's your gift card holder. And then you can actually open it up and have your white insert to write your message. So hope you like that one. The next one we're doing is really fun. I love this card. Let me show you. This is it for you and it really features that beautiful foil and this is in blueberry bushel. I love blueberry. It's so pretty and it doesn't it just sparkle so well with this silver. So you open it up. There's a gift card holder in here and I've used that same paper and then I use the opposite side of the paper to go ahead and create the tag and this comes from the tag comes from this sending cheers dies it's this tag right here and then i went ahead and used these cute little hearts in the silver adhesive silver uh, foil paper that we have that is in my online store as well so that is really great because you don't have to put anything on the back no adhesive no goopies nothing it's it's already adhesive it's super simple love that so um we'll go ahead and start making this card and i've already got a couple of cutouts here so let me find my, I'm reading my tutorial at the same time because I haven't just did this last night. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. We are doing this one and I need to score it to start. Bring my paper trimmer, get these out of the way. So we'll do a little bit of die cutting too here. Um, okay, so we're going to score this in half not cut make sure you use your light one and then this is a gatefold gatefold no this is not a gatefold this is 
I don't know. It's just Jen's card. <laughs> um, let's see here. I'm going to score that in half. And then I'm going to take this. And I'm going to trim off a little bit here so that I can go ahead and get my, where's my little punch? So that's going to be our um, gift card holder, like little pocket. So we'll just snip that out. A little half moon. And then we're going to burnish our score lines. There we go. Burnish these. You see how that comes together, right? So let's do that first, and then I will figure out which designer series paper I'm going to use. Again, I like the um, the liquid glue. You may choose to do the tear and tape, which may be easier for some, just depending on your preference. So this, give it a minute. Hi, Bev. Good morning. Good afternoon. Um, okay, so we've got this, and what I'm going to do then is grab my beautiful white foil that I love so much. It is one of my favorites. This whole pack of foil, I love it. I just want to use it on every card. Get my score, my um, cutting paper trimmer out and let me see but I need to cut this all right so I need two pieces one for the outside this is the card we're making Bev and then one for the inside so let's see here Do it this way and we're doing it this way whoops I did that too short let's do it another And then this piece. Okay, now we've got what we need. Move that out of the way. Good to go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere the inside down first. Where we have that. Just do a little bit of adhesive. These cards are all gift card holders. Again, great for birthday, holidays really kind of jumpstart your holiday if you haven't started yet this is a really really easy way you get this card class for free you're going to get 12 cards awesome it's a great way to start your holidays and you don't even have to leave your house it's the best besides everybody loves gift cards you can't go wrong right so we're going to adhere this short, smaller piece to the front and I kind of went crazy with the glue there. I'll try to wipe it off a little bit. And we're layering this on blueberry bushel. And I love the contrast. It's so pretty. All right. And then because I am, this is my inside piece. Look how little. You just want to say love you. Think you're great. <laughs> Happy birthday, whatever. But I'm going to adhere this all the way on the inside here because... You don't want this sticking out. So y'all know too that I am not, I'm not a wordy person. I just want to say what I need to say. So this is perfect for your little message. And then what we're going to do is take, I'm going to take some of this paper. Nope, not this one. Let me find another. Let me get my pack back up here. Because I want something in that beautiful blue. Can't remember which one. I think it's this one. Yes, that's the one. All right, so we're going to take that back. Put these pieces uh, away. I don't need those. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to, I think this is white enough. There we go. So again, this is our sending cheers dies. I'm going to go ahead and take my um, my mini boss here. And she is a mini boss. She does a great job. So y'all can see how much I use this. A lot. A lot, a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through. 
and go ahead and cut this out. All right. Okay. And then I'm also going to get these little hearts that came in the Sending Cheers dies. And I have a piece of the um, adhesive back silver glitter paper. It comes in the gold and the silver. It's this one right here. And um, it's awesome. It's really great for anything, any kind of embellishment or anything. You don't have to, like I said, use any type of glue. So we're going to go ahead and load these up. Hopefully you guys can see this. Nope, you can't. Um, so I've got two hearts here. And then these little itty bitty hearts, which are so cute. And those little itty bitty ones actually go with the gingerbread man. But they're perfect for this. Just as little like embellishments. So, okay. Let me see what we got here. There's one stuck in there. Get my little poker tool. Put him there. Two stuck on here. Where did that go? Should be there. Okay. All right. So that's that. Get this out of the way. Don't think I need that anymore. And tomorrow is my class for, um, there it is. I couldn't see it. Tomorrow is my Berry Christmas class. I'm so excited. I just sent all the kits out yesterday. Y'all have an enormous amount of product coming to you. It's so much. I didn't even realize it when I was like designing the cards and designing the kit and putting the class together. You have so much stuff. You got a really great value with that class. And so I'm excited to see what you, um, your response is when you do your cards. So anyway that is ready to go for tomorrow you guys already have it in the mail and so for this card i'm going to go ahead and use the coordinating blueberry bushel and so i went ahead and cut this out of the um the nested essentials dies this is the smallest kind of little rounded rectangle there um and i'm going to use the stamp set that goes with ascending cheer and it says for you again this can be for any occasion let's see I've got my ascending chair still out put him back okay whoops got some ribbon over there when I'm doing my classes and putting all my kits together everything gets really cray cray it's fun but it's it's a lot of stuff and then uh, next Saturday, I have a really cool, um, it's, a, it's always fun every year. It's my um, craft fair that I'm doing over in Brandon Oak Subdivision. And that will be from 10 until 2. So I'm going to have a lot of cash and carry items. I have some of my, um, um, some of these these really awesome home decor pieces that I showed earlier. This has lights all inside, tucked in, nestled in. It's 3D. It's awesome. So I'm going to have some of those ready. Um, all kinds of fun things. So I'm excited. Hopefully, if you guys are local, um, you will come and see me. All right. So for this, I didn't grab any kind of... Hmm. What can I do for this? Uh, yeah, I have this, actually. So I have my ribbon. I have some sparkle ribbon. Hi, Cassie. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap this around. You can use any ribbon that you have. I love the sparkle, of course. And um, that's what I tend to go to. It's my go-tos. So we're going to put that and so just kind of know for length what I need, right? And then I'm going to I can get this in here. This is from the Sending Cheers and it is designed for little tags. So get your little thread it through. Can't get a good grip on that. All the way through. Okay. 
There we go. So I'm going to thread it up just a little bit more. There we go. Because what I want is I literally want it to kind of like hang off here so that it covers up that little um, area where you write your message. That was my whole intention behind that. So, but not cover up that beautiful silver and white paper. Have to show that off. Okay, so I'm just tying this. There we go. I'm not great at bows. Ugh. I feel like it's hard to, to do them sometimes. All right, so that is good. We're going to go ahead and cut this down a little bit. On this side a little bit. So there we have that. And then... I'm going to pull this back just a little bit. Okay. Take one dimensional. Here they are. And I'm going to stick him underneath here so that that is hidden. Okay. And it stays stationary. Now, like I said, these are all adhesive back. So you just take off the adhesive and they come off really easy. Um, do that. I need to put my sentiment down here. Do one dimensional here. And then, oops, get off there. Doing this. Cassie, this is using your, I think one of your favorite sweets. I know you loved that when you got that kit. So fun. Um, okay, I'm going to stick this one over, where am I going to stick them? There. And then the three minis are, I have one more, here we go. So the minis are here. Alright, I'll put those closer to, just love these. And these actually take the place of um, your embellishment. So isn't that fun? It's kind of like a dual purpose. Okay. And that is your third card. Isn't this third card? Yeah. So you open it up. You have a gift card holder right inside there. Isn't that awesome? Little area to write your message. And this is really centered kind of right in the middle. You like that? I think that's really cute. This one actually shows in the silver and sheer ribbon, which I love that ribbon. I have so much of it, and I've already gone through, I think, four rolls of that just myself. So, <laughs> I love it. It's just the best. I hope they continue to keep that. It keeps going out of stock, and it's out of stock right now. So, um, Okay, now our last card is super awesome. This one is here. Let me get on my tutorials that I've written out. Let me find it here. I've got them out of order, so it just takes me a minute. Okay, so here's this one. Make that a little bigger for my eyes to see it easier. Hope you guys are enjoying these. Again, these are really great, versatile. Um, okay, so this one, you open it up and you have a gift card holder on the middle, right? And this one I've actually decorated on the outside. My little linen thread is there. And then you can open it and close it there. But it nestles really nicely inside. You can see how that's really, it's held inside. And then we have the matching decorative piece here. So let's go ahead and create this one. Okay, um, let me get my paper trimmer, and I have some of the pieces already cut, but we are going to use the arm for this one, pull it out, and let's see here, what is my size? Let's see here, I don't have the right piece. So let me grab another piece. Let's see here. Yep, I didn't grab the right piece. Let me get another one. This is our smoky slate. 
<clears throat> okay, this is a full sheet of cardstock. Excuse me for having to do that. Sometimes it happens. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and cut this off. Again, you'll get the whole tutorial when you um, when you get this card class for free. Okay, now what we're going to do is score it. So we're going to score. Let me see here. Get it all lined up. Scoring blade. Oh, shoot. I didn't just do that. I did. All right, try again. Another piece. Here we go. Saturday. Welcome to Saturday. <laughs> it is the show of shenanigans. No, um, <laughs> that happens sometimes. Uh, let's try again. Keep that cutting blade out of the way. See, I'm reading this as I go along. So there's that. That's the problem. So let's see here. <clears throat> All right, so here's the first one. Score it, don't cut it. And then here. And then here. There's a lot of scoring. If you have the score pal or scoring, um, what do we call it? The, um, see if I can get this right on the dot here. If you have the scoreboard, you can go ahead and use it a lot easier, probably. So there's that. Okay. So let me put that down for a moment. And what we're going to do, let me double check. So this actually, your first score will go down into a valley, up into a mountain, down into a valley, accordion it, right? Get on the side of my table. It makes it a little bit easier for me. So this is what it will look like once you get it all scored and then you want to burnish each one of these to get them good and set and ready for your liquid adhesive. So I am using the green glue and I'm just going to do all the way out to the edge here. Okay. Just glue that first one. I'm going to hold it. Maybe I should glue the other one too. Let's just add a little bit of glue here. You guys can see what I'm doing. Not too much. We don't want it to seep out. You could, again, you can always use tear and tape for this as well, so it wouldn't be a risk of being messy. You know, some people don't love the green glue. Sometimes there's a learning curve to it. Um, so here's that. Just give it some pressure and some patience, and it'll all be good. So this is a really awesome... Um, fun fold. So what it creates is this internal, can you see that? Where you're actually going to take one of the, um, one of the classic gift card envelopes and you're going to, first of all, we are going to put some really fun, um, designer series paper on that. So let's pick out what we're going to use. Hmm. I, last time I used these, which I used that already. Let's see what else there is in this pack. This might be fun to use, right? Do you guys like that and use the inside of that? Let's do that. Okay. So I even have this too. I'm not sure. I think this is two inches. I can just do that around there. That would be fine. Okay. Let's do that. All right. So, get my cutter out again. Put this all up here. Reading my instructions. So, this is going to be, let's see, is that exactly? No, it's three. Three inches. Where's my score mark? 
that's three and a half. Okay. So let's cut that down. Use the cutter. So we've got this. And then we are going to use this full sheet and we're going to cut this down to, let's see here. I'm gonna do this, two pieces. All right. And I can even use one of each side if we wanted to. Okay. And let me see, let's go ahead and continue on with this. And then, oops, okay, bring our card back. So I love that, isn't that beautiful? Who doesn't love that? So pretty. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the front and I'm gonna put this down like this. And Use that as the outside and then coordinate with the um, with my ink right on the stamp welcome to everyone watching thanks for joining me on Saturday I will still be coming to you live on Sundays tomorrow evening I'm going to be showing a really fun full card it's like an open and a twist it's gonna it's different so it's a lot of fun this I'm going to go ahead and use the other side almost out of this one this glue okay and put this down inside of here leave a little bit of a border there you guys see what i'm doing left a little bit of a border there and it's just top to bottom so very easy okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue down our designer series paper to our gift card holder make it fancy fancy let me think of how I want to do this I'm gonna do it this way moved into the center okay and then take my glue I'm gonna just get this all glued up I'm gonna do both sides because I've got my gift card holder going in the middle there just do it right there that's good and then I'm going to lay this down right in the middle and I'm going to give it that pressure you can even use your bone folder again get that good and seal down both sides but that way you see the coordination with the paper and I just love that so um, it's a fun thing these are still kind of sealed a little bit from being in the factory being made. So there's that. Isn't that pretty? Don't you love that? Mm, I do. Love it. Okay. Then what we're going to do is um, let me grab some more. Get this out of my way. Just got all my cutters and my stuff. I am going to bring back my little mini boss. I forgot that I needed to cut some more things. So I'm going to bring back this sending cheer. I'm going to use this one and I'm also going to use this one. These are two little tags and there's even a third little tag. So cute. The little gingerbread. This, they're all tags. This is just a great set. You got to have it. Um, <clears throat> okay. So there's that. This is some scrap white. It's our basic white. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I think they both can fit. Eep. There we go. Yeah, I'll make it fit. All right. And then we're just going to place that down and run it through. 
hold it. Snap, crackle, and pop. Put these back. And then we have these two. Okay, I think that is all I needed on that. Okay, so we have the basis of our card. I do actually need one more piece of designer series paper. Um, trying to think, which one do I want? I think I'm gonna use this pretty white. Nah, probably not. I'm gonna use let me get a coordinating foil, you guys. There's this other, we have this beautiful, we have this one in the um, peacock, and then I also have this other one in Lost Lagoon. Thinking the Lost Lagoon will be better. Let's see what they look like. Is that one or this one? Which do you guys think will be better? watch for comments there's a little bit of a delay <laughs> let's see peacock or lost lagoon hmm lost lagoon okay beverly let's do lost lagoon all right so we're gonna do this get my pack out of the way bring my paper trimmer back I love having this be interactive. This is so fun for me. Um, okay, so where did my white piece go? Here we go. And that's going to go on the outside of that. And it is going to be, let's see here. Let me see what size I made this. It's, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be here. And the snowflakes just make it so fun and festive, right? Okay, I think that's all the paper trimming or all the cutting that we need. That is beautiful. Is that not gorgeous? Love it, hands down. Just love this paper. This is all back in stock, so grab it while you can. All right, so we're going to layer this. A minute to dry. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and insert my white paper, my cardstock, for the message to be written. And that way we can still see our beautiful, beautiful watercolor paper there. So pretty. Okay, there's that. All right, and now what we're going to do is we are going to stamp a minute. Get that all together. And I'm going to use which one? Which one? Which one? I'm going to use both, I think. So let's do this one. Cheers to you and the new year. I'm going to line this up on my block and I think what I'm going to do is the peacock. Do I have the peacock out? I have the blueberry bushel. Hi Julie Thomas. Thanks for watching. Let me get my peacock ink pad because I didn't plan that but it's okay. I didn't have to. This is the easy Saturday card class. And this is an awesome one. Cheers to you in the new year. So I'm going to ink that up really good. Put that down, give it some pressure. There we go, isn't that pretty? And then I'm also going to use the other, I got a hot mess going on over here, other stamp set and that is this one it says open me let's see we're going to do that in the very same pretty peacock do it on this little tag 
And there we go. Okay. Put this back so I don't lose it. I have lost stamps many, many times. They'll be on the back of another card case or something crazy. And I'm like, where is it? I know it's right here. And there it was on the back. So, okay. So I think that's all of our stamping that we need to do. Get the inks out of the way. And let's go ahead and assemble this really awesome card. Let's finish that. So what we're going to do is we've got these two cute little tags. So I'll show you how we're going to use them. So we're going to, first of all, use our linen thread. And I'm just rubbing my fingernail along that fibers, make it not so curly. And that way it'll do what I need it to do. Um, <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it around like three times. Actually need a little bit more on this side. So let me pull it that way. I like to have enough so I can go ahead and tie it really easily. And again, this is like a, an essential for every crafter. Lots and lots of linen thread because it's so fun and it's so easy to use and it's not bulky. So I'm just going to go ahead and thread this through. Okay. and make that kind of come up a little bit and that way it will be kind of crisscross behind it I like that look make that not curly there we go tie that here make that good and tight So, make this the size that we want it, pull it, there we go, and cut those long, long tails off. I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to try and do a, I'm going to do another bow and lay it over top of that. Again, just extra dimension, something fun, different. Got a little bow there, glue dot here. Okay, and I'm gonna stick that there and be like a double bow. Is that fun? Tucked out from under there. Okay, cool. I like that. I think what I'm going to do to go ahead and keep it stationary is I'm going to put a little dimensional behind here too. That way I can have it positioned the way that I want it. Why is that? Oh, it's not off. <laughs> Why is that not sticking? Well, what did I do? Oh, well, let's get another one. I think I put the contact paper back to it, so that's a problem. Okay. Here we go. Just do one in the middle, like that. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop this up. That is a pretty card, y'all. Need another dimensional behind here. You guys like that card? They're pretty. looks like it's sagging a little bit so give it some help and I'm gonna put some more on the back my little man is ready to go he is at my door trying to open it like, can I get on the video I should do a video with him he loves to stamp he loves to craft it's so fun it's great to see their creativity, like when they take a stamp or they take something that we're using in one way, they use it totally different. Can you guys hear him? Andrew, please stop. Okay, that is the front of our card. 
Wow. I love this. I love this more than I love this one. Don't you? So pretty. All right. So that's that. Now we're going to decorate the inside here. Again, I'm at the end of this twine. So I'm going to wrap this around, kind of matching it. Yes, he loves it. He loves it so much. Hi, Amy. Welcome. Just doing an impromptu Saturday live showing some cards that hold gift cards. So it's been fun. I'll show you here in a minute the cards that we've made. So we're just going to cut that off. I'm going to tie this. Oh, let me get that so it's not so curly. There we go. Hope everybody's had a good morning. Fun agendas lined up for the day. Okay, and pull this so that it's more taut. Love that. Okay. Open me. There's that. Okay. So this is your card. I hope you guys love that. Open it up. There you go. And you have, let's scoot that down a little bit. Spread these out a little bit. And then you can open it up. There's the gift card holder. And then you also have where you can write your message. So that is your card. And I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been fun for me. I love it. I love kind of doing impromptus. It's fun. I don't do it enough just because schedules are crazy. But here's what we made. This is what I made originally. Open that up. You can see the difference and how that flips over. So that was the fourth card. And you're going to get three of each of these when you order the card class. So it's going to be 12 cards. This is the third one we did. And you open these up and you have the gift card holder inside. You see two different variations, right? So you, if you order a pack of paper, you get the, um, the foil, you get an embellishment. You may want to add a ribbon on whatever is out there that you like. The stamp set is the all occasion that we used along with ascending cheer. This is an awesome one for a male birthday. I made this a thank you card because I was sticking with the same uh, stamp set. You open this up and your gift card holder goes down in here, or your gift card rather, and the gift card holder. And then you also have the card to open up and write on the inside. So that was the next one. And then this was the first one that we did here. So this was a birthday card. And you open it up. This uses the um, radiating stitches dies as well. You open this up and you have your gift card holder here that we decorated the flap as well and glued it down. So, and this uses the back of this other paper so it all coordinates. It's the beauty of Stampin' Up! Everything coordinates. So, this I hope you love. I hope you love these ideas. Um, the, the card class will end, the special will end on October 31. This is my um, just quick offer to you um, just so that we can get everything um, while it's still in stock. And again, here are the four cards. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you all for joining and I hope you have an awesome weekend and um, I will see you live tomorrow night for this awesome. Let me show you the fun fold that we're doing. Let me pull it out here amongst all of my stuff from today. Um, I think I've got it here. Yes, here it is, here it is, here it is. We're going to be doing this card. It is a fun fold. You pull the ribbon and it opens like this. We're going to be doing that together to Sunday, Sunday at 7 o'clock my normal time. So I hope to see you there. Thank you for joining and have a great Saturday. See you soon. Bye-bye.